Hello, hello, hello. And today we will be making a procedural flame texture, which will be helpful, especially for like larger capital ships and so on. It is highly customizable and I will show you how we will achieve this. For this, we will need our object, which we will need. So we're just take, gonna take a cube, and I'll be making it a tad bit larger and then just bring the origin to the very front here. So just shift S, cursor to select it, um, right click set origin, origin to um, 3D cursor. And now we have our origin set up, everything works and we are going to go over to the shading tab. And here we go. Um, for this, we don't need this, so we can delete that, replace that with a principled volume put that into the into the volume and reduce the density already to zero. We don't need the density, we will just gonna be working with the emission strength for this project. Then first of all we need a gradient texture. Put this into here, put this into circle, and then just press Ctrl T to um, with a node wrangler add-on to just at the mapping coordinate. We will stay with gener generated for the for the for the for the moment just because it is honestly simpler. Put this into the emission intensity and we can already see, uh, not here, to the emission strength, and we can already see our circle thing. We have to line this up now. There is no easy way around this. This is the only non-procedural part from this, sadly. So we just have to see if to fit this into our cube right here and it fits pretty perfectly. Uh, with the Y, we can now scale on the, like how long we want our flame to be. I just want it to be around this length. Um, and yeah, we can now get to work on the color. Um, let's move this back here a bit. I'm going to be using mine for kind of like a Star Wars -esque thing. So we will make it blue. Let's get a color ramp, put this here, put this into the emission color. And then let's just make this kind of like such a blue. And then we can make this a higher number. We just press four into here, and you see it's more white. And then let's get like an intermediate thing like that. And let's just bring that a bit more to here. Can you not do what you want? One, something like this. Yes, okay. This looks a bit iffy. Why? Because we are using only this data, which is not showing. Great. We are only we are only using like very limited data for our emission strength. How can we change this? Um, basically, what we just need to do, we just need to insert a math node, and this just needs to go here, and we change from add to multiply, and then just crank this up. And we already, this is way too high by the way, I'm just gonna come this down to two, for it to look better. Yes, actually that, that looks way better. But still this looks a bit shitty. Like this is, so far isn't a really cool emission. It's like, yes, it's it, it, it could work. Do we want it to stay like this? Probably not. We want more detail. So how do we get this detail? We put a noise map into here and we will start with a normal noise map. And this is a, and this is something you will be able to stack. So you can add as much detail of this as you want. We will press Control T again, but this time we'll need another one of these texture coordinates because this time we will be using object and not generated. And we will be mixing um, this with this, but what I will do before that, just so that we have more control, I will put a color ramp in between this so we can change, so we have just more flexibility over our um, flame in general. Then let's get that color ramp up here as well, and then just plug this in here, and then just select the two, control zero to automatically bring those two together. Something 
bring those up and change mix to um where is it overlay this doesn't work we want to why because these two are mixed up and as soon as we get them in the right order it should work so we can now play with this scale and i would always put this detail up to 15 bring the roughness down a little bit and we get some very very soft um details into there we can now bring this one up to increase those details like before we, we, we remove this and we also can like play with this right put this to like eight five and bring this to here i feel like that's one looks good but i'm not happy with the color yet so let's change the color again to like of this blue and bring this a bit back yeah, to around about here, this blue, I'm also not happy with that, so let's change that to more like... Could also make it like, if you want to make it like a, give it like a second color. Yes, I mean obviously what I forgot to do is add this color to this here, right? Because obviously you need the gradient input obviously into this as well. Um, what you can also do if, if you want to control this separately from this, you can, you just... So put this into this and it works but now we have a pretty cool flame the color is not, eh, not great let's make it like this um we can still add more detail though and how and, and, and how do we do this we just make a second enhancement but with a different pattern so let's, let's just use a musgrave texture put this here just use this vector for it continue color ramp Put this here, put this here, and then we just need to mix those two. And then again, change mix to overlay and swap these two again. And now we have a mouse chapter. We can now play again with, with the scale. I like to bring this up a lot so that we basically have a lot of small detail with this musgrave texture you can obviously change this however you want but i like it how it how how this works and yeah um you can obviously add way more steps on top of this so you could duplicate this process a lot you can add a new noise texture you could add more into into steps into this you could also like get more steps into this for example if i add i don't know like black one here and then add a white one here like i get a inner layer which i could then also like put into this color ramp here for example if i now use this for this right you have another detail layer in in the in the in the flame if you want that um i don't overly need that for my for my for my product so i didn't do that but you can definitely do this um the benefit of using a procedure flame like this, it is very flexible and you can do a lot of things with it. The downside is it is not fully pro pro procedural, so you will always, if you um, need to align something, you will always need to do this procedure with the mapping node and you can't mirror it. Meaning this cube has to stay always the same. You can duplicate it that of that of that of course but you if you're gonna put for example like an array next to it that won't work because we are only using like these specific generated co coordinates which is one downside of it so you always have to duplicate this object to have a new flame another upside is if you wanted to use it for an animation swap this 3d to 40 and you can animate this w um value this go works for both mm, for, for both the noise maps and you have an animated flame then which works pretty pretty um which works pretty cool and works for um all noise maps you will you will you can put on here so to know sh to now show you where i put this into my project um we will swap things real quick and here you can see 
this serves as this back thing here. It's kind of like the the exhaust of this star star destroyer I'm 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 working on. And and I think it works pretty great. Uh, pretty great. Obviously, you could um, there is still some stuff missing, the details missing. But this is like one piece you can integrate fairly well. Um, well, I hope you like it, and uh, I'll see you next time. Bye bye.